going to look at the squat. Really important that when you squat, that you squat correctly because you can put a huge amount of pressure on the knees. Now, one common mistake I often see with the squat is that you're not actually pushing back onto your heels, but that your heels actually lift off the floor. And the other common mistake I often see is that the legs are just so wide, you're actually just doing a knee bend. So first of all, let's get in the correct position. So if you start with your feet just directly underneath your hips, then to then take one foot, just a heel, toe wider on one leg, exactly the same, just a little bit wider. So your hands just on the hips, and the feet just slightly wider than the hip distance. Now if you do just a natural turnout, whatever is natural for you. Now you want to sit back and down, which means you've got to push the hips back and down. So you're going to push back, the weight coming into your feet. So you should be able to move your toes quite freely. It's important you keep the tummy pulled in to maintain that good natural spine. So the knees just tracking over your toes. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do when you practice this, just to see if you're doing it correctly. Now one is to do a squat with your hands on your head, which means you keep looking forwards. So not tempted then to look at the floor. So I actually call this a convict squat. You can probably understand why. Another way is to do what we call a rib hip check. So you can use your little finger and your thumb. Place your thumb just on the lowest rib and your finger on the top of your hip bone. You can do the same on both sides. Or you can just use one. Now the distance between your rib and your hip must remain the same as you squat. So, sit, sitting back, tummy in, chest up. It's really important that you do that. So this distance isn't changing. So, we're not dropping the chest. Now, if you were dropping the chest, that distance would actually be getting closer, so you know. So, as you squat, it's worthwhile once you've had a look at this in the video, get yourself onto the mirror, have a practice. So, weight goes back into the heels. You can move your toes driving through the legs. This is a fantastic exercise for your legs and your buttock. So you just want to push the floor away and the effort is the up because you've got to work against body weight and gravity. So that's when you breathe out. So in as you come down, out as you rise. So chest up, knees just floating over the toes. If I do it sideways, we're going to see by pushing back and down. Now, the depth you get to, again, that's important. If you're new to squatting, you just push your hips back and down, whatever is comfortable for you. If you get more and more familiar with this and stronger, you can, of course, get much, much lower. Of course, all the weight's coming back. So once you start getting a little lower, you often need to counterbalance yourself. Now, if over time you want to add weights to a squat, it's important that the weights are kept close to the body. So you don't want to have them in your hands because as you squat, the hands then turn to drop forwards. So what happens is obviously the weight then goes into the back. So you clasp the weight to your chest and then you sit back. So what I suggest you do, have got a few of these, you are driving to the floor, keeping the chest up, breathing as you go. So take yourself off to the mirror have a go, see what you think. Okay, look forward to seeing you again soon.